Hey guys, it's me, Shadow, and uh, today I'm going to be reviewing a game called Rock of Ages. Now, you might be wondering, what is Rock of Ages? Well, Rock of Ages is an indie game that was developed by a group called Ace Team. Uh, it was released on Steam September 7th, 2011, and it's also been released on Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation ne Network. Uh, so, this game is... It's not so much about the story for a game like this, it's mostly about the unique gameplay and the unique art style that they implement during this game, along with some of the comedy that comes from the interesting cutscenes that refer to hi either history or pop culture. So let's get on with the gameplay. At its core, this game combines simple tower defense strategy and perfectly mixes it with a rolling ball mechanic, some might say similar to monkey ball. The goal of the game is to break your enemy's gate and squash them ro by rolling down a course as a giant rock. Now while you're rolling down this course, of course the goal is to hit their gate. But while you're waiting for a new rock, after you hit their gate, you build defenses that will hopefully stop their rock from hitting your gate. Some of these defenses include buildings, towers, windmills, catapults, and even animals like a giant elephant or cows. While this can get rather repetitive in the long run, it also leads to really fun matches, especially when playing with a friend or playing against randoms in multiplayer matches. Now, there is multiplayer in this game, and surprisingly, even as an indie game, there are still some people playing it. So, if you do look for a match, you probably will find one. Now, there are multiple game types, and for single player, there's two main uh, game types that I would like to talk about. There's the first normal story mode, which is probably some of the most fun you'll have, even if it is by yourself, due to the great cutscenes that implement lots of references from pop culture. I mean, it's, and it's really fun to see how many you can actually understand. I got, a, I got a couple of them. And then they also refer to a lot of people in history while going through the normal story. But there is also a time trial mode, which is obviously just w racing through the maps, trying to be as fast as you can. For multiplayer, there are uh, lots multiple game types, but uh, the two main ones would be War Mode, which is the two players attempting to break down each other's castle gates, which leads to some great competitive moments with friends, but unlike m other games that are competitive, it's not taken too seriously. It's just more of a who can get there first and who can g have the better defenses. Then there is also Ski Boulder, which requires players to race down a lane and trying to hit as many targets before they hit land in a Ski Ball styled board. Players try to get as many points as they can by hitting the targets and then landing into the higher multiplier zones that are located on Ski Ball board. So hey, you ever wanted to play Ski Ball with a friend? Well, and you are, you know, thousands of miles away from each other. You both get Rock of Ages and bam, you have Ski Ball right there. So um. Another really unique f feature of this game is the interesting art style that they employed, I guess you could say, they utilized in this game. Rock of Ages is a very unique art style that changes from the different time periods you play in. Uh, those five periods are Ancient Greece, Medieval Times, Renaissance Times, the Rococo, and, and Goya art styles. While the art styles do change from the different periods, they seem to have a rather Python-esque art style, which is, you know, if you don't know what Python-esque art style is, it's kind of a Monty Python uh, art style. And you can especially notice this during the gameplay. Um, but the art isn't the only thing that changes from the different time periods. The music also changes its style. Uh, it might not be too special, you know, it's not uh, really unique music. But it is really nice for a game like this, and the fact that it changes depending on the time period you are in is actually a really cool feature. So that's why I really like about this game is how uh, unique and different it is. Now overall, Rock of Ages offers an interesting experience mixing unique art and music with fun gameplay and some pretty funny battles mixed with their cutscenes. While the comedy aspect of the game might, might not be for everyone, they do make some pretty witty references and make the game even more fun than it already is. I would give this game an 8 out of 10. While the game does have some really interesting and unique features, its art style and comedy might not be for everyone. Still, it's a pretty great game, and you, if you are interested in it, then you can check it out on Steam or any of the other places for only $10, and for that price, I think it's a pretty great game. So like I said, I give it an 8 out of 10, 
and thank you guys for watching.